Hey people, welcome to another one of Chris's Beer Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Imperial IPA from the Garrison Brewery. Uh, it is an unfiltered uh, brew at 7% ABV. This is from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And we got a 500 milliliter bottle here. Uh, quick, brief note on the side. This robust, full-bodied, and complex strong ale combines caramel, malt, and intense hop bitterness with a lingering citrusy finish. So, uh, got another wonderful Garrison bottle cap. I'll be reviewing it with my Samuel Smith pint glass. Let's give it a roll. Also, you can see the wonderful hops on here, which somehow... Uh, Lots and lots of uh, breweries are having a hard time getting pictures of the hops on the beers these days because uh, officials are saying that it looks too much like marijuana. All right, here goes. Ooh. Wow, this is actually a really tough top. Really, really tough. Oh my goodness. All right, I don't even care if you can see it anymore. There we go. What, wow, I feel right around, it's like very, very much like glue. All right, be keeping that cap. Let's give the pour. I'm gonna be drinking this brew at cellar temperature. Uh, I'll be doing that a lot lately since it is a lot colder outside and I can store all of my beer on the balcony. Well, so much for uh, smelling it first. As you could tell, I had to save it there. Look at this extremely uh, pungent looking color here. You can almost see the grapefruit that you're going to be tasting. Uh, very, very translucent. Can't really see through. Um, very, very hazy, though. Very hazy IPA. IPAs usually don't tend to be hazy. Uh, we got a little over a two-finger head here, but that's my fault. You can see by the way I was pouring it. Uh, judging by the way that it was pouring, it didn't look like it was going to give me the head I was looking for. Very sweet uh, on the nose. Very, very malty. Very, very bitter. It smells very much like a, uh, a West Coast IPA. Very, very syrupy uh, aftertaste. It's one thing that usually kills me on IPAs. Uh, I'm a huge IPA fan, but the one thing that kills me on any IPA is a very, very strong syrupy aftertaste. And that, uh, I'm calling it a syrupy aftertaste, but it is um, it is the character of a very particular hop that is in the brew. Very, very grapefruity. If you like your West Coast IPA, this is definitely going to be up your aisle. The percentage of the, the alcohol percentage of the beer definitely comes out of the taste, and it is definitely going to be one of those brews where it starts getting a lot stronger near the bottom. I don't need to finish it to uh, to prove that one to you. Would I buy this again? Personally, no. It is simply because of the strong, syrupy, hoppy aftertaste that I'm not a big fan of. It really does get stronger and stronger the further down you get into the bottle. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick. Um, uh, yes, it does taste like a 7% alcohol brew. Mm. Uh, very, very hazy. I'm, uh, you know what? I bet it being unfiltered has to do with that hazy, hazy, hazy color. Um, and another thing too is that it's 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 really smooth, but it, you can tell that it's thick. It's not like Guinness thick, but in your mouth, uh, it has quite a bit of body to it. 
Um, I think I'm going to give this one a 2.6 out of 5, strictly based on my, uh, you know, uh, whether I liked the beer or not. Uh, it, I'm not judging or basing that rate on anything uh, that has to do with, you know, simply the standard of uh, quality IPA that it is. Uh, if I were to do that uh, from an IPA perspective, um, this is probably a 3 out of 5, but personally, um, not being a big fan of the aftertaste of this beer, I'm going to have to give it a 2.6 um, out of 5, which still isn't bad. Alright, thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. Cheers. Don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Cheers.